Hey friends, I'm Sarah, welcome to Books for Tea. Today I'm here with an announcement for the second round of the seasonal series Readathon. Now, I've been talking a lot about seasonal series on this channel recently, but if you haven't seen it, it is a readathon that's gonna go pretty much for an entire year and we have four rounds based on the different seasons of the year and it's also all about reading book series. So for me the next round is gonna be the summer round but we have four different bingo boards and you can choose whatever kind of season it is where you are or whichever season you would like to do and just try to fulfill the challenges of that bingo board. First of all let me introduce you to my co-hosts for round two. Certainly some of the hosts of the first round couldn't join me again but I'm so excited with the people that are joining me in this reader fun. First of all Reggie from Don't Stop Reading is hosting with me again. Then we also have Melissa from New Bookish Babbler, Vanessa from Paper Fairy and Jasmine from Novel Thoughts. I am so excited to have all of these wonderful ladies help me host and definitely check out all of their channels and watch their announcement videos, subscribe to them if you haven't already. I love them all very very much. The second round of seasonal series is gonna go from July 1st until September 22nd. So even though it has already started, you still have so much time to join us and it's definitely not too late yet to get that reading started. During the seasonal series, Readathon is also going to be a one week long Readathon at some point towards the end of the Readathon, probably in September. Um, I will let you know before that happens, but the basic premise is to pick one of the bingo boards and over the next three months try to read as many books and fulfill as many challenges as possible. So just some basic information for the bingo boards. There are some challenges that are based around books and the books that you read for those challenges are all supposed to be part of a series because it is the season of series reader fun. But there's also some activity based challenges, for example, to eat ice cream while reading. Um, and those can be done with absolutely any book during the reader fun. Definitely follow the Readathon Twitter to be updated and to have weekly reading sprints with us because that's another thing we're doing. And don't forget to share your TBRs or your reading progress, you're doing the challenges, all of that with the hashtag seasonal series on Twitter and on Instagram because we'd be so excited to see all of your progress during this readathon. You can find the bingo boards as well as all the other information that you might need for this readathon linked down below in a Google Doc. So definitely check that out, get yourself a bingo board and start planning your TBR. Because to me that's the thing that's the most fun is just planning your TBR on just challenges so I'm so excited to share that TBR with you right now. So what's important to know is that you can definitely double up on challenges or use one book to count for as many challenges as you want. It's definitely something that I'm doing and there is 25 challenges so don't feel like you have to read 25 books at all. So for the summer bingo board that I'm doing the first challenge is to read a book that's part of a fantasy series and for that I'm reading The Kiss of Deception by Marie E. Pearson. I'm sure most of you have heard about it. It's a very popular YA series and I'm excited to read it and to get into this. The second challenge is to drink my reading. So for the challenges that are more acti activities, I haven't picked out any specific books. I will just do them anytime during the three months. So next on we have number three, which is a hot series. And for this one I'm taking one of Booktube's most loved series it feels like. It's not really hot in the sense of that it's newly hype but it does have a lot of hype with it. I feel like everyone has read it so that is Sinna by Marissa Maya. I have actually read Sinna and Scarlet in the series but I never continued on and I really want to read the entire series during the summer so that that's one thing of my ginormous TBR. The next challenge is number four which is to read a book that has yellow on the cover and for that I'm going with Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. This is actually also part of a series, Spinster Club, and I didn't know that it was part of a series but now I'm very excited that it can count forwards to season a series read up on and I think this deals with anxiety and I've heard really really good things about it. Challenge number five is to eat a book while eating ice cream so again I do that with whatever book I want. I'll probably do it several times to be honest during the summer. Next one we have 
a book that is at least partly set in summer and I don't know if several of the books I'm gonna read are gonna be partly set in summer. I feel like there might be a high chance but I'm gonna go with the safe one that I know will have summer in it and that is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have reread the first book during the first round of seasonal series for the challenge of reading a book that's set in spring. So just like a little tip if you don't know what to read for the book that's partly set during a specific season. Harry Potter has all the seasons so you can always pick that and I'm very excited to read the second book in the series with the beautiful illustrations and to reread it once again because I love it so much. The next challenge is to read a book that's part of a YA series and pretty much most of the books in this video can come towards that but um, I'm gonna double up here and for example say that I'm reading The Kiss of Deception also for the YA series. Next is to read a book while having a picnic, so I'm gonna do that as well with whatever book I read at the time. Next on we have a book that features LGBT plus characters and for this one I decided to go with Every Heart a Draw Away by Shannon McGuire. This has a lot of diverse and LGBT characters and it's also the first in a series. I've been wanting to read it for forever, it's super short and I'm very excited to get to it. Possibly during some kind of 24 hour readathon I will most likely be doing maybe several times during the summer. The next challenge is to reread a favorite and I am once again using Harry Potter for that challenge. Number 11 is to read a book with a blue color and for this one I'm reading Winter by Marissa Mayer because as I said I'm planning on reading the entire series. The next challenge is to read a book that's part of a long series, so at least four books and the Lunar Chronicles do have four books in it plus some novellas and um, extra content, so I'm counting Scarlet for that challenge. Next is the free space, which is to read any book from a series so all of the books I've mentioned so far can count or maybe I'll read something else that wasn't on this TBR, we will see. Um, the next challenge is to read a book while eating fruit, so I will also do that with any random book. The next challenge is to read a book that you think you will love. And for this one I've actually decided to go with a book from my 5 star prediction video that I made at the beginning of the year and that is Cress by Marissa Mayer, so the third book in the Luna Chronicles series. So this is um, now the entire series on my TBR. Cress was in that original video because it's the third book of the series and I have read book 1 and 2 but I haven't read book 3 yet so I am predicting that I'm probably really gonna love it. The next challenge is to read a book that features travel and for this I'm not super sure. Maybe one of the books will have a heavy traveling element. Um, I'm sure there will be some kind of travel in it. If I don't really find any though I think that the Lunar Chronicles had some travel from what I remember but if I don't um, find any other travel in my books I'm gonna go with Harry Potter as my safe as my safe choice once again because Harry and Ron do travel with the car to Hogwarts so no spoilers but like that's definitely travel that can count. The next challenge number 17 is to read on the go so I will do that once again with whatever book comes to mind. I usually always have a book with me so so for example when I go to uni I very often listen to audiobooks in the car and that already counts so that challenge will definitely get fulfilled with some book. Number 18 is to read a book that's part of a contemporary series and for this one I'm once again using Am I Normal Yet? Number 19 is to read by the water, so by the pool or the lake or anything like that and I'm very excited to do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I might go to a local swimming pool maybe, but I'm already excited to read by the water because it's just such a summery thing to do and immediately makes me think of vacation. Next on we have a book that features a great love story or an OTP and I'm gonna pick Cinder because I think that when I first read this I enjoyed the love story and even if it's not gonna be an OTP, um, I do know that it focuses very much on romance so I'm gonna pick this one but maybe another book turns out to fit even better then I might count that for a challenge because as you see I am already doubling this up. The next challenge is to finish a trilogy and for this one I'm taking 
A Conjuring of Light by Wee Schwab and if you have watched my other TBR, this was on my TBR for the first round of seasonal series and then once again on my TBR for the week long seasonal series read up on. Um, I didn't finish it, I only read like 220 out of 660 pages so I do have a lot left and once I have read this I'm gonna count it as finishing a trilogy. The next challenge is to read a book in under 24 hours and for that I am using Every Heart a Doorway because as I said this is super short and I will probably get it read during a 24 hour readathon at some point during summer. The next challenge is to read a book that someone recommended to you and for this one I decided on going with Not Your Sidekick by C.B. Lee also because this was part of my 5 star prediction video at the beginning of the year and I need to start reading those books that I think I really really love. So this one was recommended to me by CC from Problems of a Book Nerd. She has a really amazing booktube channel, probably most of you know her already, but she talks so much about queer books and I love her channel so much and she has been talking about this a lot and that's where I got my recommendation for that series from, so I'm very excited to read it. It's about um, LGBT superheroes and I'm excited. The next challenge is to read a book while wearing sunglasses, so as soon as I'm gonna read outside that will get done. And last but not least is to read a book that is second in a series and for that I'm using A Close and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. This is the sequel to The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet which I read during the first round and absolutely adored. 5 out of 5 stars, probably my favorite book I've read this year so I am very very excited to read the sequel even though it's gonna follow different characters which still makes me sad but friends of mine have read this and enjoyed it a lot, some even more than the first. So I am excited to get into this and I hope I will also really, really love it. <laughs> Alright, that is it for my TBR for the second round of seasonal series. I think there's 11 books on my TBR so I hope that I can get through them in 3 months. It is a lot, um, we will see because it's definitely not the only books I'm gonna be reading until September. But I will try my best to get most of them read and yeah, I really hope you will join us during seasonal series. Definitely let me know in the comments if you want to join, what you think of the readathon, if you have read any of these books, anything like that, I would love to know and I will hopefully see you all again with another video very very soon. Goodbye!